When I was 10, I started learning Hebrew. I took Hebrew school for a year, and I also studied with my grandfather, who, do, who does have a temple and who does teach younger students who are getting ready for their bar, bar mitzvah, bar and bar mitzvah. Um, so that's where I did get my studying, but I never learned how to speak. I never learned how to write. Um, I only learned how to read from the Torah, which is a little bit different from the Hebrew we're learning now because of the letters and some of the pronunciation of the vowels. Um, but now getting kind of more an idea of what it's like to really speak Hebrew is really exciting. It's like learning English all over again. Um, and it gives me an opportunity to speak with some of my friends who do speak Hebrew. It's like a, it's a whole secret language. And I feel like I'm back in kindergarten. So it's really fun to have that sense here in university. My name is Jasmine Ajati. I was born and raised in Los Angeles, California. My parents were born in Iran and both migrated to Israel during the Islamic Revolution. And after about 10 years of living in Israel, they moved here to the United States. Okay, my name is Melanie Dow and I study linguistics at Cal State Northridge. And uh, my ethnical background is my mom's Iranian and my dad's um, Anglo-American. And so I'm Iranian American. I do like my Hebrew class a lot. Um, one of the things that I like about Hebrew is how um, similar it is to Arabic. They're both Semitic languages. And I'd previously taken Arabic last semester. So I feel really prepared going into this class because they're both um, related to each other. And because of that, I'm able to learn Hebrew a little bit faster than someone just being introduced to it for the first time. And I'm enjoying seeing the relationships between Arabic and Hebrew. I think the biggest difference in the culture is what we value. And I think nowadays in American culture, people value like items, if that makes sense, like something that you can literally grasp. But in Judaism, we like to value everything. We like to value every little moment, every second of the day. There's a prayer we say in the morning um, to say thank you, God, for, for waking me up and, and giving me another day. Um, and then we say a night prayer, a night before going to bed, saying thank you for an amazing day. Like, I hope I can wake up tomorrow morning, things like that.